All right, fantastic. Uh, welcome, my name is Beatrice and I'm with NARI of Minnesota. And we are here today with the lunchbox hour on how to submit a pillar. So first off, I'm going to share my screen and get the PowerPoint up on the screen so everybody can see it. Uh oh, oh. Ah, yay, that works. All right, fantastic. Um, does that look good on your end? Yes. Okay. All right, so we today have three presenters. Uh, myself, Anna Struess, who is the co-chair of the CODI committee. She has been the co-chair for, I think, five years now, which is excellent. We're appreciative of her support, uh, past board member as well. And we also have Brian Jones, with uh, uh, who is the other co-chair of the CODI committee. And he, too, has been a longtime uh, co-chair of the CODI committee. Um, he's also a multiple CODI winner, and he owns Jones Design Build. So we're uh, thankful for both of you being here today. So let's see, those are the three presenters. So one of the things that we're going to be talking about today is what is a pillar? So hopefully you're here today to find out what a pillar is and then how to submit it. So we're gonna go over what it is. What is the Cody Gala, which is when we award the uh, pillars how you submit it. And we're actually going to get into the weeds with this. Um, and then marketing your award and some pro tips. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask any one of us your questions. So now I will turn it over to Anna. Thank you, B. Um, so what is a pillar? So about two years ago, I think now, we decided that we wanted to highlight and acknowledge our vendors just as much as the importance of celebrating the amazing craftsmanship and work of our contractors as we uh, arrive at the Cody Awards. So a pillar is simply our vendors submitting to say, hey, I worked on that project with that contractor that has won and for you to get recognized as well. So they are um, submitted before the Cody Awards by vendors and then they are announced the night of the Cody Awards to be recognized as a vendor with that contractor's award. Um, it is a recognition of the associate and the excellence that they bring to our industry. And it also is an opportunity for the vendors to provide an additional way for them to market and leverage their companies uh, within our industry and the you know, Metro at large to continue to market their businesses to other you know, people that they're looking to partner with. And can you tell us a little bit about the logo right there? Ooh, look at that logo. It's lovely. So the logo was uh, created uh, specifically for the Pillar Award. So that was, as it says there, established in 2019. So that's when the Pillar Award became a, an additional part of the Cody Award. So we're really excited to have that new branding within the Cody Awards, but also for NARI at large. Great, thank you. And it shows up on the plaque that and, <laughs> you note. could receive as yes. a winner. Yes, so for those of you that aren't familiar, I think Margo and Trisha, both of you are, but for those of you that are watching this after we had the live event here today at our lunch facts hour, the Cody, Gala is a annual event for us where we really want to acknowledge and recognize the, the industry at large and, and the people that bring their excellence to this industry. So the contractors have submitted projects in advance of the Cody Awards, and they um, are up for either a, a gold or a silver um, or a bronze to be able to, again, market themselves in their industry within the Twin Cities Metro and beyond, um, to be able to just be a, a kind of a step above their competition, if you will. So um, many people are submitting every year and we have new submissions for different projects. And um, I was given a little tip that our submissions this way, this year are, are um, definitely something where you wanna show up to the gala and, and um, observe and, and just be wowed by, by the amazing people in our industry. Uh, this year, we're going to be at the fabulous Abulay on November 9th. 
So we invite you. The registration is going to be opening up probably within the next two weeks. So be looking for that. We would love to have you uh, attend. Some people make it an annual event as a team building. So they bring their entire team. Um, you can get a table and invite people that maybe you want to begin to build relationships with, whatever you want. So we invite you, if you have questions about that uh, or need more information, go to naremn.com or you can reach out to Beatrice and she can get you your questions answered as well on that. Thank you. Um, so it's submitting your pillar. So now we're gonna go step-by-step step on what this looks like. And um, here's some highlights for you. The time frame to submit is between now and October the 15th at midnight. So it gives you a couple of weeks to look over the projects, find out if you, if you worked on one of the projects and then go ahead and submit. There is a $75 fee for every entry. Um, and the way to do this is to go out onto our website, which is naremn.org, um, and then select events and find the pillar submission. And then from there, enter your information, find the, the projects that you worked on, and then select those for your pillar. So I want to right now go ahead. I'm going to stop sharing this, and I want to go to my computer's acting funny. Um, all right, can you all see this on my screen? It's the NARI website. And here we have about us, click down to events. Once you do that, you can see the different events that we have coming up and you can see right here, the pillar award submission with a due date of October the 15th. So you want to register just like you regular you would for a regular um, uh, regular event that you were attending say our monthly meeting annual meeting which is going to be in IMS in two weeks which is excellent click on the registration button and you'll be prompted I've already done this once and so you're missing one step here but you'll be prompted to enter your member ID and your member login. The only way that you can have access to the information that is on this page is if you have you are a member and have access to um, our online uh, member profile. So once you log in, you will come to this page and it's from here where you will select find the projects and then select over here that yes, you want to add one of the pillars. And I'm trying to be somewhat clever here and covering the, the addresses and it's failing miserably. But uh, one of the things that we want to do is keep this information just between our members. And so you can see here, Amic, this is one of their projects. The project is a residential kitchen in this range. And here is the location of the project. What you'll want to do is look at your records and determine if or not you assisted with AMIC on this project. And if so, then you can go ahead and select that you want to purchase one and then say, save. It lists it as $75. When you're all done and you've gone through all of the different projects, then you will select just go through the list on all of the, the members that you work with, select next, which will then take you to the checkout page or not, depending on whether or not your internet decides to stop working for you as mine clearly has right now. You'll just have to trust me that it will in fact take you when you do it <laughs> to the checkout page. I, of course, am not going to finish it here because I'm not going to register for, uh, for this. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Uh, I'm still, uh, great. Uh, the uh, projects that are currently listed are not completely updated. Um, staff will be working on that and by later today, 
uh, September 29th, they will all be listed there and they will all be collect correct and they will each be $75. So um, know that that will be updated. So any questions on what I just showed you on going out to the internet to find the location and actually submit for a, a pillar there? You guys are quiet. All right, so now we go back to our PowerPoint. Ah. And I'm gonna turn it over to Brian. You're muted. I was, thank you, B for keeping me in line and walking us through the, the website submission. So after you won your pillar award, we will send you a media kit, just like if you had won a Cody award, we have those in-house, um, it'll give you a press release, links to um, photos if you were in attendance and get up to the photo booth. We'll have a photographer at our live event again this year. Um, and then there's also an, a plaque that you saw in the photos that it's a walnut background with the pillar logo on it. And that tells um, the year and the contractor that you partnered with to win the award. Um, so it's not super complicated, but you need to just take a little bit of time. And the biggest thing is to be thorough and to verify that the project, especially if we have multiple submitters, that it's a project address that you have worked on. Um, we had um, good response this year. We had 30 some contractors who have submitted and over 60 submissions total. So, um, is a good list to sort through and be involved with. Um, to go to the next slide. So we showed you on the website where you can go. The, the deadline is actually the 15th this year. So we have um, two weeks, that's Friday at midnight. Um, there's the office number if you have questions or Beatrice's email or Anna and I are happy to answer questions via email or now in person. You want to make sure you guys are all still. There we go. Margo's back. Some questions for us? So you're only charged for the pillar if you win? Is that the thing? No, you, you pay okay. 75 no matter what. It's right. It's just like the Cody Awards. It, it's for the submission. Got it. And you won't know if you win until you know if the contractor who submitted was a winner. Right. Okay. That's the fun <clears throat> of attending the Cody Awards. And it's a two-way street in terms of um, outreach. We'd, we'd love to have our contractors reaching out to their vendors that they know um, partnering with them who are NARI members. And then likewise for, for vendors to look, look through the list and see um, what contractors they, they partnered with as well. Right, and the logo, the logo uh, winners that uh, that uh, get the pillar will receive the logo as well, and can use that on their signature line. Can put that on their web web page and social media, and uh, use it in a number of different ways. Noting that they're a pillar winner. Trisha, you're working on the email to all of your vendors right now, right? 
Um, I'm thinking that's a really good idea, Brian. I was trying to consider what makes the most sense for them to look for us or us to look for them. Yeah, both would be helpful if you, um, as part of your Cody submission, gave us um, contact info for people who are involved in the project. We staff will do some outreach with that data as well. And I would invite contractors that have submitted to actually reach out to your vendors that you partnered with and let them know, hey, I submitted a Cody award and you can submit for a pillar. And, you know, if you want to just put a little blurb in there about we, we appreciate you and, and we want to highlight you at the night of the Cody awards as well, however you want to word it, but um, there's, there's value in the partnership of the relationship and to be able to acknowledge our, our vendors at the night of the Cody's as well. So that's, that's an integral part of that. We want all of our members to shine at the night of the Cody's and really celebrate excellent, excellence as a whole throughout our industry. So our contractors can help us through reaching out to your partnering vendors and say, hey, did you know this is available for you? Yeah, I think this is all excellent. I to our vendors and make sure that they're submitting. Thanks, Trisha. Thank you. So when you photos are taken, are they taken like the contractor gets with just the contractor and then with the pillars or is it all, all come up at once? I, I forget. I, I did go to Cody. <laughs> a couple hey, years. Can you go back to that photo? Yep, page? Right there. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one right here is a good example. In the lower right-hand corner, we have uh, two, we have the contractor, um, which is, uh, uh, oh, uh, and here we have the vendor that did the, the uh, cabinetry. So combined together, we've got one pillar and you can see Troy is holding the pillar and you can see that she actually, maybe you can't see it, but she is actually holding the, the glass um, uh, Cody Award. All right. Hmm. Night, night construction. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a great way. So, so this is uh, with the Nari background. These are the ones that were taken at uh, the Cody Awards. And then because of COVID last year, we hand delivered um, the pillars to the winners last year. And you can see uh, here we've got Pam from M. Lear from Lampert Lumber, and she is in her location. And I brought the, the, uh, the plaque to her and got her picture. Um, so yeah, different ways. Yeah. And how many pillars have we been giving out the last two years on, on average? Do you have a number? I want to say 80, right around yeah. 80. Mm -hmm. That's pretty exciting. That's good. Yeah. 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 And actually, there are a number of our members, where associate members, where they will have multiples on a wall. And quite frankly, they look lovely all lined up. Yeah. I've gone into a couple showrooms and seen them stacked mm -hmm. up. Nice presentation. Yep, so it's nice. Any other questions come to mind? It's a great opportunity for our associate members to uh, get recognized for their support of the, the contractors. And it's a great way for the contractors to show support of the associates as well. So, yeah. And that was really the reason behind uh, the organization creating this. So, yeah, thanks to uh, the Cody committee for doing that. Mm -hmm. Beatrice, I do have a question. What does the application process look like for them? Like if I, I'm thinking if I call our, one of our cabinetry partners, and they ask what they what they need to what what do they need to submit? They need to go to our website, mm -hmm. and ah. that's what. Did you see when B walked us through oh, the? Sorry, no. I was I was listening. I wasn't watching at that point. Okay, all right. Yep, I'll do, I'll I'll do it again though. So they'll need to go out to our website nari.org. 
and then select on about us and then go to events. Once they're there, you can see pillar award, click register and cancel. Ah, uh, cancel, leave. All right, click register. And from there, they'll have to uh, enter in their personal information and then they can select, find the project. So K Bella, Dream Maker, Great Northern Builder, and then to the right, select one. And it's only going to be one. Um, and then say yes. And then from there, go ahead and close this out down here. Thank at the you. Yep. Super easy. Got so, it. Yeah. yeah, we tried to make it as easy as, as we could. Yeah, it's um, all, all online, Trisha. No, no paper form to fill out or send in. Yeah, and the assumption is that um, our members will, will will see the projects and recognize that um, you know this is a project that I worked on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they don't have to do any narrative or anything no. to explain what they did. It's just just click a box. Click a box. That's it exactly. Yeah. yeah. Stop it. Too easy. <laughs> right. What is the, the Staples easy button? That's what we tried to create. Because we care about our members. Right. <clears throat> Good questions. Other questions? All right. I have one for Tricia. When's that scaffolding going away behind you? Oh, isn't that such a great question? Um, we have our second coat of stucco going on in a week or so. I think it's supposed to be this week, but I need to check. Is that your house? I think I think it's her ADU. Oh, really? Oh, that's oh excellent. yeah, I muted. Sorry. Yeah, that's our ADU. Fantastic! Wow, that's really yeah. coming along. Yeah, finally. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Well, thank you all very much for participating. A uh, survey will be going out. We'd love your opinions on how we can improve our uh, lunchbox hours, or if you have suggestions for upcoming uh, lunchbox hours that you'd like us to, to um, have for you. Um, if you do have any questions on how to submit a pillar, feel free to contact the office at 612-332-6274. You can send an email as well to info at nari mn.org. You could send it to me at Beatrice at nariemn.org and we'd be happy to help you. So thank you all for attending today. Thank you, B. Thank you. This was super helpful. Really appreciate Thanks, it. Guys. Thanks.